guys, Dorian from NJ Bike Life here. Going out for a little ride on the Grom. Just got done putting a new injector in and the intake. So now I just gotta give the ECU some time to warm up to the bike and get used to all the changes that I've done to it. And the only way to do that without manually resetting the ECU, which I don't feel like doing at all, is just drive it around. I think they say it takes like 50 to 100 miles in order to reset it to get it to run better than it is. Which I'm cool with. I mean, it's not really running too bad now. It just pops every now and again when I slow down, like, after, like, ripping a high RPM. It'll just slow down a bit and start popping out the exhaust, which is, I mean, fine by me. The system's definitely running lean. So, don't matter to me. As long as it fixes itself. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to look in, I'm gonna have to start looking into ECUs and fuel controllers and power commanders and all that stuff that I know nothing about. This guy's running, at least he's got some reflected. That's like I mean, he's running on the right side of the street, too, so that's also good. So Anthony said he wanted to ride, but standard Anthony, he, he wants to do stuff, but he never actually does stuff. So I'm just going to ride past his house, hit him with a couple farts, maybe rip a fat wheelie in front of his house, and then we'll, and then we'll dip set from there and probably head back home. It's actually not that bad. You know, it was raining all day. It's supposed to rain tonight into tomorrow, and then tomorrow's supposed to be pretty nice, but... You know, I don't care. As long as I'm out on the bike, I'm good. So I got, like I was saying in the last video, what kind of mods I have on it. The only thing that I got left to put on this bike now is the, um, what's it called? to put on this bike is the new upgraded springs and the new updated CNC clutch plate and that's that's like the last thing just because the clutch has like a you know very spongy feel so I want to get the new clutch plate to hopefully make it more stiff like how the WR was set up and a lot of people were telling me about how crap the, the clutch springs are and I know a lot of my my friends have like either the whole clutch redone or like three of the springs done in the plate so that's what I have on my agenda I'm gonna do all six of the springs and the plate should give a little more clutch response and should be able to let me clutch up wheelies with not having to worry about that plate breaking or worry about you know not enough power coming off of the clutch when I release it so yeah I just got that clutch plate I'm gonna wrap the bike I was gonna wrap it in a like a purple that matches the levers but now I'm thinking like maybe I want to do like a darker purple. I don't know like they have this purple it's called like a midnight midnight plum or midnight something purple that looks really good. But now I see that like one of Pooligan's guys um, not Steven but there's another kid that he rides with and he has like a midnight purple bike. So I don't want to be like copying him, you know. I never even knew about Fooligan until I got this bike and saw that he was like the Grom guy to know. So I might do like either a brighter purple or maybe I'll just do like a black purple or, or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just bail on the purple idea and just wrap the bike in like a gold color or something. definitely gonna get wrapped the plastics are not the greatest I mean they're not bad there's a crack in one side and that's about it so it's not actually that bad but I want to try to preserve the plastics as much as I can and give the bike you know a certain look that I'm going for I like the gray that I got on the handlebars I like the gray that like goes throughout the bike it's like a metallic silver but I don't think like a flat gray would look good on this bike. That would look too cheesy. I like the purple because it'll stand out. 
but there's like so many different purples you could choose from. There's like metallic purples, chrome purples, royal purples, dark purples, purples with colors that interchange. For the longest time I wanted to make the dirt bike all gold. And this bike would actually be kind of cool in all gold, but I'm getting uh, white boomerang soon. So when I get the white boomerangs, I want to make sure that the bike will look good with, you know, silver and everything else, essentially. Which I think the white boomerangs will pop real nice in the front. It'll help people also see my blinkers, which will be cool. Even though I have the regular stock blinkers on, I think it'll just look cooler with the white color popping in the front. And then worst comes to worst, I can always paint those or I can wrap those. So I'm not I'm not too worried about cosmetically how they'll look. I just know that the girl that I bought this from dropped the bike. And that's the only reason why I got new boomerangs. And I was able to find white ones for really cheap. So I grabbed the white as quick as I could. Um, another thing to mention, this bike, as you can see, I already put my cell phone mount on it. It's the Archon mount, the one I've been using through all of my bikes. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to invest in another card holder, like I have on the FC6 to hand out my spam cards. I just don't know how I'm gonna mount it onto this bike. I don't know if there's like a way that I can like fit it in like this hole. I don't even know if you guys can see me because it's dark, but I don't know if it can fit in this hole. And then I have dark gloves, that doesn't really help. There's like something I can put on the front. I want to put some NJ Bike Life stickers on it, but I don't know what I'm going to wrap yet. So, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get the spam cards out on this. And I'm going to have to update the spam cards because if you remember my last design, it has the FC6 and it has the WR250R. Now I don't own the WR250R anymore. I sold that. So now all I have is the FC6 and the Grom. So I might throw the Grom up there. Which I don't I don't really mind doing, but it's just gonna be a pain in the ass to remake them and then you have to wait and all that stuff. But I am gonna get spam cards for this bike for sure. That meet that we did a couple days ago on Sunday was was pretty cool. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a really cool video. I got, I got to meet you know some pretty cool kids. So hopefully. Um, more rides like that I think they're trying to get one going for this Sunday again but I work until 2 so unless they ride in the neighborhood around 2 I ain't gonna be riding with them which is gonna suck but suck but yeah that's exactly what I was gonna say I wasn't gonna say something else it was just gonna be suck but all right so we're pulling in Anthony's neighborhood and he told me not to bring this fart can around so I gotta make sure I get as much fart as I can out of this can while I'm going to Anthony's. I still hear the exhaust popping, but that'll that'll lean out or wrenching out when the exhaust learns. And it's only a D cell uh, pop. Doesn't happen any other time, just during the acceleration. I'll open up my eyes, you guys can hear the farts a little bit stronger. Let's see if Anthony looks. Top window, top right window. Is anything? His light's off. All right, we're going back. You can't hide from us. He's not even looking, dude. All right, so I got a plan. We're gonna go down the street over here and come up the street. We're gonna rip a fat wheelie right in front of his house. Anthony hates me, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but he like never rides motorcycles with me anymore, and he never really does anything except for go and get root beer floats. So, oh man, here comes the snaps. <laughs> Anthony said he heard me all the way from that first road we came on. He said he heard me all the way from there. <laughs> I love this exhaust, dude. Without the baffling, this exhaust is the most obnoxious thing in the world and it's the best. It sounds like a dirt bike, you know? It sounds like 
It sounds mean, but I mean, it's on a little scooter. I'm waking up all his neighbors now. I'm an asshole. With this bike, you have to be. Nope, couldn't rip a fat wheelie. Let's move back a little bit on the bike. See if you can rip one here. Nope, nothing. The bike's not interested in ripping fat wheelies. Am I in first? Yeah, I'm in first. Oh yeah, I got a little one there. All right, let's let's bail from ants. And we're gonna hit behind his house so that he can hear the exhaust when we leave. But yeah, that was pretty much my only for riding this week or riding just now was to stop by Anthony's and let him know that his bike is not good and he knows I'm riding anyway so he knows it's not good this car is going come on come on come on come on go 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 okay I'm going now my turn my turn this car is gonna go no okay peace kid Anthony's house is like right through there 